Hey guys, welcome to Ryan Makes Things, and today we're gonna to make the Sistine Chapel fingers almost touching, but electricity running between the fingers. And we're really excited about that, as well as a ton of other projects that are coming up. So make sure you hit the subscribe and the like buttons, and you'll see them as soon as they come out. Uh, and the reason I actually have this to start, this um, razor blade, is I have to cut off the hair so it doesn't get stuck in the rubber. Now is this entire project just an excuse to shave my forearms? Absolutely, absolutely. Oh God. Now there are a ton of better ways to do it, but I have elected to use a bucket and a razor and some some shaving cream because um, I'm smooth as anything. And uh, I elected to use that to, to shave. It is so patchy, I'm so bad at this. Did I learn anything on the first hand? No. Another successful Saturday night done, another win in the column. All right, I think I got it. Not perfect, but it was enough. So the hands are God and, I wanna say Adam? Or Ryan Reynolds, I honestly don't know. But obviously I'm deciding on myself as the character to, to play, and so I need to get ready for the role, I need to prep my hands, you still be ready to go. 1001! So uh, now we're going to make the actual molds for the hand. Um, we're going to take this guy and cut him in half and then put him on this cut in half as well. Uh, I chose plexiglass because I'm going to be able to see my finger when it's all the way down at the bottom and we'll use that for when we, uh, we drill in with the, uh, the wire later on. So this is taking some time to cure, and so now we're going to mix together the rubber. This is what's going to take the mold of my hands. So let's get to it. Ooh, this one's a funky pink. A little bit of candle in the soul. A little bit of man. A little bit. Do it to the last breath. Little pink action. We're gonna mix until they're thoroughly mixed, which is not very descriptive. But basically, we be able to both the same color. We are fighting against the clock right now. I haven't done this, this kind of rubber before, so I don't know exactly how long it's gonna take. I'm gonna get some trusty Vaseline. This is the hand of God. And the purpose of the Vaseline is just to uh, make sure that our hands don't stick in the mold. So fortunately, I don't know if I put enough rubber in, so it might just be the hand and not the forearm, which kind of sucks because my artistic vision. Um, but that's okay. It's okay with Tom or Pool. Most things we have to be common to for this thing to work. Um, yeah, breezy. Easy breezy cover girl. Okay, so it worked pretty well. You can kind of see it. And then the finger I'm gonna put the little electrode is popping out, um, so you can see that a little bit. Um, unfortunately, it, it kind of didn't get my entire hand. I, I didn't make enough. Um, so I'm just going to do one more round, um, half a round, on this guy just to finish that out. Um, and then this is super satisfying. Just taking the excess rubber and then just draw you ASMR. Back up. 
there. Look at that. Oh, it is hella sticky on the bottom. That was a mistake. So my plan is to watch a little bit of TV. You know what? So this is what it looks like after all that. It's starting to harden up and cure. But look at the level of detail. These are my pores um, that I cut off because it was extra. And look at that. I cut every single one of my blemishes. It's crazy detail. All right, so now we have the mold all ready. It's all hardened, kind of hard, um, and it's ready to go. And so now we're going to thread through the, uh, the tubing where the wire is going to go in. So it's going to insulate the wire <coughs> even more so than the actual wire itself and just make sure that we can slide in and out without any kind of uh, damage. <laughs> what is it like? The chocolate chip ice cream. Okay. So this, uh, we're now gonna do the second drill, and I brought to get, I brought here a little brother to hold it, ah! honestly, just to look good in front of the camera, so that girls in his age bracket are like, oh my god, <laughs> who is this guy? All right, I need you to hold it like this. <laughs> oh wait, 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 Brian. Is this the most girly thing ever or what? What is it? Room lights. <laughs> Set in the mood, Colin. Yeah. All right, so we got our, our molds. We have our stands. I also drilled a hole in the top of it, just so when the concrete goes in, it has something to grab onto. It's not much, but it's something. We have our tube um, that's gonna go through and hold the wire. And then finally, we have our concrete. So for another project, I use glass fiber reinforced concrete. You can see that here. Um, with that, you're able to make like really, really small uh, concrete pores. However, this one, I can't use that because you have to put down a backer coat um, and then the glass fiber reinforced concrete behind it. Um, and I can't really get to the mold that well with this. Um, so I'm just gonna pour like a regular concrete and then reinforce it with some steel. Um, the problem I see is maybe the fingers are gonna be a little weak, right? And maybe break off, but I'll do the best I can. It's not structural in any way, so I think it'll be fine. But honestly, not too bad. So, you know, we have some cracks and um, some of them, the fingers got lost. I'll, I'll glue them on later. Shouldn't be that bad. There was also some areas where it was too close to the side of the container. And so the uh, the rubber, I uh, wasn't able to pick it up. So I gotta shave those off. But all in all, I tested it with um, some filament from a 3D printer um, and I was able to go all the way through. So it works and the tube is all ready. And uh, we should be able to um, add the electrical stuff. So and it, it's a super dark color right now. It eventually turned into this thing right here, which is a super uh, much better um, color. But right now it's really, really dark, but soon it'll lighten up, so that'll be fine. Scaffold, glue, Nutri-Grain Valley Bar. Let's go.
I've got this guy from a previous project. He's kind of all banged up and gross from resin. Um, so I'm gonna make him all purdy, and then um, he will be the base uh, for the hands. Time to get rowdy, because it's a router. I'm wildly unhappy. So these are the guts behind it. Basically you have power coming in that is then converted to really high voltage um, power and then that's where you see the sparks. So there's two things that are doing that transformation. One is this bottom one. Uh, it's right now it's live so I don't want to go anywhere near it. Um, and basically what that is trying to do is just like a taser, right? It's like pulsing um, and it takes the energy and makes it high voltage and it pulses. So if you look at it, this is what it's going to look like. Super loud, super annoying, super strong. Uh, the other one is not like that. The other one is a little bit, it's not pulsing, right? So it's a constant. And so it's more of a flame. And so it's a little bit more advanced. So this one is the second one. And that's what happens over there. And then in the middle, there's just a, um, a switch uh, to transfer power between the two. And then also over here is my little click click to make sure that I stay safe and away from it. So I can turn it on and stay way away from anything that's potentially dangerous. And then these get hooked up to the hands. A cool project. Thanks for watching, and if you like what you saw today, make sure you hit the subscribe and the like button. You'll see all the new projects as they come out. Plus, as a subscriber, you're eligible to win some chosen at random future art pieces. So, really excited about that. And I promise all of them will be as fire as. Uh, it's my last one. It's my last one. It's electric. <laughs>